Hey guys, got a new track for you. This one's inspired by the film Sicario. We've called it Cartel, and uh, yeah, let's take a look. So I'm in the web app, I've got Cartel loaded. It's opened up in the hero template um, by default. Of course, you can change that if you want a more suspenseful version or if you want a more upfront version. Um, in the action one, for example, you can see, you know, it's got um, everything's a bit more upfront straight away. Um, but I'm not going to use any of these. It's, I'll just let it stay in the hero. I'll go to the transitions tab because I'll need that in a minute. And I'm just going to create my own sort of just intro to this track and then talk about a couple of things whilst I'm doing that. And I'm going to have latch switch on. So that's something I need. I don't want snap on because um, I'm going to make gradual changes. Um, because I want to hear what my slider uh, movements are doing, so then I can replicate that with some of the transitions later. So let's get going. So the first thing I'll do is I'll grab this power here when it changes. I don't want that to change, obviously, and read the timeline, so I'm just going to grab the power right now and just move that down, keep that down there. And I'm just going to bring depth in to start with. And you can see I'm moving it slowly because this is the sound I'm after. I love the gradual increase in depth, just how that, that thickens out the whole texture. And you can see I'm doing it over the course of about, it's probably gonna be two blocks by the time I'm done. Yeah, awesome. So my memory's poor anyway, but um, I would recommend probably if you find something that you think you've done really nicely in real time using the latch mode, like I've just done there, Probably just go, it's worth maybe, whilst you still remember, just go back in and um, make the you know make the changes to then replicate what it is you actually did. So what I mean by that is I increase this gradually over these two blocks. So all I'm gonna do is I could probably just shift select both of them actually, and then just clear them both down. And then either throw in a ramp at this point here. So that, I mean, that is it. So I'll just, that's fine. Um, so, oh, and I'll just get rid of that little fella there because that looks a bit odd. And weirdly, oh, I didn't need to do that. What am I doing? Uh, that's the one I wanted. Okay, cool. Uh, I'll just save that. And then the next thing I want to do is bring in a bit of momentum as well. Now, there's a bit of an Easter egg in this one, which is, I say Easter egg, it's basically, we have very, very, um, you know, unique inflections, as you know, an inflection being a, a slider position combination, right? So say momentum's on the right, depth's on the right, power's on the left, that's one inflection. And what you're looking at here is another inflection. So there's a particular inflection which I really love, um, which is momentum and depth up, no power, right? And that one's gonna activate a certain stem, well, set of stems, which you'll hear in a minute. Let me just play it for you. So going from, actually we'll just go from here. So I'm gonna bring the momentum in now and you're gonna hear a really, really cool um, low string motif. Here we go. that kind of chromatic, it's kind of chromatically descending, which is to say that it's moving by the smallest musical increments you can. Um, it, and it reminds me of that absolutely fantastic um, bridge scene in the first Sicario. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. It's the, I mean, the build-up of tension is just unbelievable. So, um, okay, cool. So basically, again, I built this up gradually. So all I'm gonna do there is I'm gonna highlight this block, clear that down, and then because the chain, there's a, it goes, it's high on the right hand side there. So all I need to do basically is just uh, select the out shape, which is on the right, and then just apply the uh, required size. I'm just gonna go for XL, which covers the whole block. So that is basically it. I'm just gonna play that back, see what you guys think. Um, let's go from here. Actually, yeah, if I unselect that, cool. The reason I have to faff around sometimes is we've still got a little bit of a focus issue, which we're working on, so, um, yeah, our timeline's using focus for some of the shortcuts, but essentially if I hit spacebar now, it should, it'll play from the selected block, um, which is quite handy. So it's just a really quick way of shuffling around the, the timeline and kind of auditioning bits and bobs. But if you unselect it, then it'll play from where the playhead is, which should do, and is, which is why you can also place the playhead, obviously, and then hit play. But if you place it and hit space, yeah, that also works. Cool. So let's have a listen. Let's have a listen from here. You'll notice there's a little bit of a low thud that's being added to this depth coming in as well, which you might think is kind of a momentum part because it's quite fast. Um, it's kind of got this kind of percussive rhythm to it. But because it's so low, we decided to put it there. Oh, I love this bit. 
awesome. I'm just going to play a bit of power into this just to show you what happens. So as I say, yeah, that amazing uh, bass motif is gone now, right? It's been replaced by something else. And actually, I'll just show you the, the percussion part changes as well. So here, when we take the depth out, we can hear the kind of more high-pitched percussive parts. Um, there's a bit more clarity in this, as opposed to this kind of really low, dark, ominous. There's still percussion there, um, but it's just much, much darker. Okay, cool. Hope that was useful. And yeah, until next time, happy editing.